Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to your monthly horoscope forecast. This is going to be for love wealth and what you need to know spiritually that you don't know they need to know that can help you their situation i want to thank you guys so much for liking sharing subscribing and thank you to my members i really appreciate all of your support and if you guys would like a live person reading with me go to my website jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below all right we're going to jump right in now all right so we're going to first look at your love life then career and finance and then what you need to know spiritually that you don't know they need to know can help you with their situation and if you guys like it this way you want me to continue this way hit that like button let me know in the comments below you can do both let's jump right in all right so what's going to happen with my aries romantic love life for the month of june what's going to have my aries career and finance for the month of june give me nine cards for their romantic love life Give me nine cards for their career in finance for the month of June. Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Okay. So we're going to start out with the first half of the month, which is the Page of Wands. Okay, so this is the first half of the month of June. This is the middle of June. And let's move this up. And this is the end of June. Okay. Okay, bottom of the deck. Let's see the bottom of the deck. Oh, King of Cups energy coming out. So a deep love there. So it looks like it's starting out and with the, uh, the fact that there could be an, a younger fire sign around this, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, or there's just a lot of flirting going on, or you guys are exploring some options here with the Page of Wands energy, okay? So let's get more clarity about this and see what's going on here. Okay. What's going to happen with my Aries Romantic Love Life? Give me nine cards, my Aries Romantic Love Life. Give me nine cards, my Aries Career and Finance for the month of June. Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so I keep feeling like there's something that's going around in circles here with a person. And it's like there's this flirting and wanting to have a sigh of relief around this situation. Yeah, okay, so I, I, I feel what's going on so far. So I feel what's going on is so far at the beginning of the month here, you're dealing with a person who is kind of like a lot of back and forth going on between you and this person. And it's been kind of going around in circles. And there's a lot of uncertainty, like, oh, where's this going to go? All right, what's got my Aries Romantic Love Life? Give me nine cards, my Aries Romantic Love Life. Give me nine cards, my Aries Career and Finance for the month of June. Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Strong desire, some jealousy, okay, lack of flexibility. Mm-hmm. That's what I said, guys. Okay, this also can represent another person. I have to point that out. Can represent a feminine energy uh, that could be like an infringing party. But let's keep going, let's see. That's for the Lenormand. But I, most of the times I see Lenormand uh, uh, snake as more like the devil card. Like jealousy, temptation, right? Kind of obsessive thinking. So what's gonna happen with my Aries Romantic Love Life. Give me nine cards, my Aries Romantic Love Life. Give me nine cards, my Aries Career and Finance. For the month of June, show my cards you need to see. Show my cards you need to see. Mm -hmm. So you're definitely connecting with someone here, okay? It seems like there's a lot of chemistry. Um, there may also be a little bit of a jealousy going on with that snake card coming out. Okay, let's keep going here and see where this goes. But this has been going on for a minute, that's what I feel like in my intuition. It's like I keep seeing this circle, 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 circling around, circling around. All right, what's got my Aries romantic love life for the month of June? Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Yeah, see, look, like there's indecisions here. Okay, so there could be another person around. I see three people in this card. It's like this contemplation about, like, you have the sense that this person's a little bit of a player energy. I feel like a little bit of a playboy kind of energy. Although we know that the this is a lover's card. It means there's a relationship. 
but you can see it's kind of like you're uncertain if this person's with this person or this person's with this person. You know, there's like multiple people around this person. Um, yep, I see sister, daughter, friend, karmic. And this concerns about this ending. And this person's really heavily thinking about you. And there's a strong obsession. So you can see, like, even though this person seems to be kind of like with this other person, they're kind of like trying to flirt with you and they're looking at you and they're noticing you. And it's kind of been going around circles this whole time, right? Um, so there's this really a strong attachment here. Yep, you see? There's the two of swords talking about some indecisions. Let's see what else I'm picking up. Okay. Okay, this is a strange message. Okay. Uh, it says something about, okay, I'll just tell you what the image I saw. Okay, it was a piece of cheese and someone was like, slap it down. <laughs> All right. Um, I get the sense that uh, that could be a specific message for somebody um, of, of a meeting of how the connecting you to this person. Uh, but it was like, it was like a, I saw like a restaurant scene and uh, it was a fast, more of a fast foodie kind of place. And it was like uh, someone working in a kitchen and it was like, slap it down. Okay. So, and uh, it was like, you know, possibly working around this person and, or there's something about this restaurant or this place. And um, I feel like it's just like a, 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 there's just a lack of understanding here of like where someone stands. They just don't understand where they stand. They're like, okay, is this person just flirting with me? Is this person like really into me? Like, is this just how their personality is? Like what's going on with this person? Okay. We see that there's some kind of uh, timing going on here. And we see a spiritual connection, spiritual signs. We see, see, I'm telling you this, there's like this hidden aspect. Somebody's not being honest, what they see about the situation when it comes to relationships. So there may be dishonesty because there's still a relationship around this, okay, which is leaving this sense of indecisions about it. So we can see that there is an indecision, someone's obsessing, strong attachment, and we see there could be a relationship around this. Okay, so let's see what else I pick up. Okay, it said you're divinely protected. All right, so what I'm seeing is something has been growing around the situation and it's almost time for harvest. Okay, so what I was seeing with somebody going around and like using the scythe and like kind of like, all right, take it down now, take it down now. All right, it's almost ready, almost ready. Okay. There could be this potential offer coming in here with the Ace of Wands here in the middle of the month, okay? Potential passionate offer. Yep, new child card energy, okay. And we see this isolation or separation. Yep, there we go, work situation. Okay, that's what I was feeling. Okay, some kind of work situation. Okay. And yeah, work situation, boss, power move. Uh, someone's really going to assert themselves now. Okay, that's why, that's why you gave me the sign of showing, okay, it's, something's about to happen. Okay, there's this defeated energy. Okay, so it looks like they separate from that person, okay, and there's going to be more of a control over the situation and massive changes here. Yep, they're rushing in, good news. Something about this house, home situation, building, and a lot of soul searching happening here. You are about to be really happy with the sun card energy about love. And uh, there's still some clarity issues here because of distance far away or it's been two year wait for some of you guys, which is kind of causing you some self doubt. So it seems like it's starting to move forward with this person or the situation, this new person. But it's like because of the, the fact that it's been such a long wait with this person, because I kept feeling like something was going around circles and circles and circles. And now it's starting to kind of like pick up and you're like questioning it, like, mm, can I trust it? All right. So there's a self-focus going on here, single available to pursue. 
And we see there's some self-doubt or an infringing party, possibly a masculine around this. Yep, being male here. And we see fresh start, new opportunity. Okay, child card energy. And needing to make a decision very soon. We're gonna go down another layer here on this Aries. What's got my Aries romantic love life for the month of June? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So you can see there's something unexpected happening here in the beginning of the month. And there's this concerns about this player energy, as I told you guys, and this wish come true, this love offer, okay? And there's a healing energy around this, but there's some frustration here and lots of chemistry. Mm -hmm. And so the timing is right now, we see the timing is right. And now, guys, I, was, I definitely feel like, yes, this month the timing is gonna be right. Okay, yep, so rushing in now, Strong desires, willpower, victory, pleasure seeking around this. And yeah, this is this for me with the fox and this pleasure seeking card, the rushing in fast and it's like kind of like a, kind of a sly slick kind of sexy energy there, okay? Someone is trying to give some advice here uh, around the situation or something to do with the situation. Uh, when it comes to a commitment and this concerns about maybe they're not telling the truth and so there's concerns about somebody feeling like they're gonna get left out in the cold, five of pentacles energy, and concerns about some kind of loss when it comes to romance because of this, so now this looks like it's passionate to me, um, when it comes to this friendship and this new love, okay. Or it could be because of the fact that the friend is not really thrilled about this new love, uh, because there seem to be like a jealous person around this. Okay, um, there's something unexpected here coming out and, and there's a healing of a situation and the timing is right, but there's this concern about this kind of player kind of energy and some frustrations and concerns that someone's not being completely honest, but we do see a wish being fulfilled here and lots of magnetic chemistry with you and this new person. Okay, indecisions because of work or control and needing to uh, make a decision very soon. There's strong desires, strong obsessions, uh, lots of soul searching about this commitment and this relationship and stressing about this friendship. All right, we see a relationship at work, new thoughts, this house home situation and this uh, She's like kind of like the queen of pentacles. Like she gives advice and uh, she's contemplative and there's concerns about this lying deceptions, about this distance far away energy in healing or slice like energy. This can represent sometimes the knight of wands kind of energy too. So yes, there's a lot of passion coming in for you guys, okay? There's lots of passion, right? This even is a very passionate type of card there. Okay, so lots of passion coming up this month for you. Lots of chemistry, lots of passion, lots of, uh, you know, good stuff, all right? Uh, we're gonna have to get you guys some advice because, you know, obviously you have this very concerned friend and it's like, I don't believe them. I don't think that they're, you know, away from that other person. And, you know, it's been so long, why now? Like, that kind of energy. See, we see a sigh of relief because of this person. The timing is right. We see a new person, massive changes. We see love. We see this infringing party and we see pleasure seeking. See, infringing party on this pleasure seeking because of concerns of loss. All right, let's keep going. So I see there's this flirting and there's this potential offer and we see Financial independence, single and available to pursue from a relationship. We see defeat it, but we see strong desires and willpower. Even though there's indecisions, there's a lot of happiness here, but this concern of being left out in the cold or lost, okay? By a pentacles energy. So let's get you guys some advice. Can I ask advice for my Aries when it comes to a romantic love life for their heads? Best good for the best possible for the month of June. Show my cards you to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, Aries, let's take a look. You're about to be really happy. 
you do have to kind of clear the air though to make sure that you're on the same page with this person, okay? Yeah, because it shows me that there was some follies here and you wanna make sure you're making this, the wisest decision, okay? Listen to your intuition on this, okay? Don't forget to have fun. Prepare for these massive changes and adapt to the situation. Sit back and listen and pay attention. Listen to, okay, is it red flags or green flags? And it looks like you can dig into completion here, but definitely get some clarity on, you know, where this person really is moving forward. Okay, so let's move to your career in finance. So I got the Empress card energy. There is a situation that you have that you guys have been working on that's really growing. And I see there's communication coming in about it. Yep, a truth will be spoken here about the situation. Remember, this is gonna be the first half of the month here. Okay, let's go further. Okay, something from before. There's gonna be a big surprise about this communication. You're gonna get a lot of attention. You're gonna get noticed and recognition, you know. People are gonna be like, whoa, okay, this is interesting. It's something going on for a long time. Something about this house, this home, this real estate, this building, very stable here. Yep, authority, boss. Something you've been expecting or some kind of expectations around this, big changes coming in for you guys in your current finance. Okay, and let's keep going here. Let's use this deck. What's gonna happen with my Aries current finance for the month of June? Show me cards you need to see, show me the cards you need. Let's see, okay, clarifying further. Yeah, long time, lots of reflections. This represents a huge amount of money, like the Ten of Pentacles energy. Some of you guys could be involved in a family business, okay? I know that's a very specific message, not for all of you, so if that's not the case, it could be something that you've been growing, something you've been working on. There's a lot of reflecting about the situation. Things are coming into balance now. Yep, you're about to get what you want here by the middle of June. There could be a collaboration with someone else here by June or partnership of some sort. And I see, which is gonna help fix the situation. You guys are like, yeah, this is, um, you know, you're listening to your intuition. Uh, there may be some good signs here around this. There's somebody showing up, bringing some good news. It is a message you've been waiting for. There's some indecisions here about the situation, but you're listening to your intuition when it comes to this offer opportunity because this, this is the message you've been waiting for about this a lot of money here. There's money going on. This is definitely a money card here. And this also can be considered a money card, actually. Uh, that also, or it could be a person that's collaborating with you. We see there's gonna be some big changes here or some of you guys are gonna be doing, doing some travel for this situation coming up. You are receiving some unexpected value, unexpected income here, okay, really good. Yep, lots of potential around this. This feels like destiny to you guys and it, it, you're gonna get exactly what you want. So far, so good. Okay, cross my fingers for the end of the month here, Aries. Okay, oh my goodness, we got the tower. <laughs> massive change, massive shock and surprise. Concerns that someone is not being completely straightforward. We see main person card and there's concerns of some bad news, but things come into harmony when it comes to this offer. And we see travel. Okay, so seems to me like you guys are gonna have to do a little bit more travel and that's what you're really upset about here. Okay. And fixing and healing this situation, letting this grow, main person. Yeah, but a little bit patient, cautious about this. Yeah, there's some politics to be played here with the King of Swords energy. Some thoughts and plans going on about this commitment and receiving, receiving some kind of invitation, some gift or receiving some kind of money. It's definitely showing you're not gonna give up on it. Okay, so long-term, Lots of potential, some sense of harmony, reflecting on the sense of destiny and giving it time. Things are coming into balance, you're getting what you want and you're not giving up. All right, we see a boss, all right, or a leader, 
okay? And we see that, or this could be also due to regulation, right? This could be regulation, government, okay? And we see finances cause some kind of sad news. We see there's two to three month expectation. We see this travel main person. Massive changes, receiving the unexpected income, and we see an invitation or gift, okay? So you're getting some investment money there. You're getting some money from someone there. Extra money. Okay, long time indecisions, main person, house, home, real estate, building, opportunity, giving it time, strong stability and money towards this commitment. All right, something you have to deal with from before, listening to your intuition, feeling like there's something sly or slick, there's a surprise, but you see that there's news of this travel. You're getting t attention, recognition, a message you've been waiting for, communication you've been waiting for when it comes to these thoughts and plans. So you're speaking about these thoughts and plans. I see that there's definitely a situation that you've been growing, Empress. Something you're getting, you're getting what you want, and we see the shock and surprise about this communication, about this collaboration, about this offer. There's a truth being spoken about having to be patient for things that come into balance because of these politics. King of Swords energy. All right, let's get you guys some advice. Can I have some advice when it comes to Aries, when it comes to our career in finance for the highest, best good, for the best luck for them, for the month of June? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, there's not gonna be a rejection, so get that out of your mind, okay? This is gonna grow into something here. Follow your heart on this, okay? Bring things into balance and try to trust in the divine timing of this situation. Give yourself some time to think about it. You know, try to be, um, you know what do they say? You catch more, uh, what did they catch more honey? Catch more flies with honey than vinegar, that kind of energy. So yes, be sweet and look to the past for information. I know it's easy to focus on the negative here, but you are about to be really happy. Listen to your intuition. All right, so what do you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know could help you? What does Aries need to know spiritually that they don't know that they need to know help them? And let me just change up camera views too. Show my cards I need to see for the month of June. Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. You have a lot more choices about this situation. I know you're a bit cautious about it, but you gotta own your power, okay? It's time for you to stand up for what you believe in. When it comes to your creativity and your passions, stand your ground on this. Regain your courage, your confidence, so you can ask for what you need here. Have a backup plan and expect some powerful changes, but be confident about this, okay? Take charge of this situation. All right, my beautiful Aries, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.